Welcome back to our series on Play-Doh. We are moving right along from the Lysis into the Lackeys. General overview, the Lackeys is a discussion about, well, eventually it's going to be a discussion about courage, but it begins as a discussion about whether or not these two friends should have their sons educated in one-on-one -on -one combat. And it's going to go from there. Um, what I'd like to talk about today is the principle of starting at the basics, which, which sounds like something that one, you viewer, are already aware of. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. Which sounds like something you viewer are probably already aware of, but they take great pains, Plato takes great pains to sort of lay this out in the lackeys and it'll build into where we go with our discussion. But, short-ish video, here's ways Plato has us start at the basics in this one. First, the play opens, play, the dialogue opens at a military demonstration. There's a guy who is an expert in combat, giving a demonstration of all of his skills. And so you can see that they're beginning this discussion of military combat with some military combat. We've, we've, we've started somewhere and we're going to go. They're going to stop having that um, and go into a discussion on whether or not to educate their sons thusly. It's also interesting and this is again, this may seem obvious, but they're concerned about the education of children. They're going to make comments about adults, and we'll get to that at some point, but primarily they're concerned with children, education at the base, education in the beginning of life, and we'll see where that goes here in a second. And they aren't talking to I mean, they are kind of talking to experts, but really, they've gone to their friends to get advice. They've gone to the ones that are close to them, not, say, the... They, they're not talking to the guy giving the military demonstration, for one thing, and they're not talking to real experts in the field. In fact, the person they start talking to is Socrates, who has been in combat, but is by no means an expert, and he claims as such. He says, I'm not an expert. You should not ask me for advice. And so I'd just like to look at those three things real quick here. The fact that they started a demonstration. Well, no, let's, let's back up from that. The fact that they start with talking about, or talking with their friends. They go to those nearby. In a sense, where they are at, they just take a quick step outside of that. And that really is how we learn things. It's how we grow. You don't grow by leaps and bounds, generally. You grow by a steady path of more of, of expanding whatever it is, your skill set, your theoretical abilities, your philosophy, your whatever it is, we grow by taking small steps further and further along whatever path we're going down. And so one reason for starting at the basics or one way of viewing that is <clears throat> the slow expansion. Everyone does this. When we educate another person, we have to figure out where they're at so that we can have that slow expansion, things like that. Because if we try to jump and we try to skip steps, often you just have to go back and repeat it anyway, so you're not saving any time. But also, whatever you've accomplished up here, you're going to have to do again because you did it poorly because you didn't have these steps in place. You have to go in that linear motion. Um, they talk about the education of children before they talk about the education of adults. And that makes sense. We identify areas where there's a more obvious need for growth. They, they're all going to agree that someone who ceases to be educated somewhere in their life 
is worse than someone who continues to become educated their whole life. And they don't mean necessarily in the schools, although that is the imagery they use. They mean it, in a sense, talking to Socrates. They mean just this continue to expand, to continue to grow. Don't stagnate. And this is another principle of sort of starting at the basics. They've identified those who need the most growth, in a sense, children. But we'll get that they do expand outside of that. But it is important to identify the areas of most obvious necessary growth. They're easy to identify and progress in them tends to be easier because one, the path is more obvious, but two, you're just, I mean, the first steps of anything are usually the easiest. If it's, it's, in a sense, as a Latin teacher, it is much easier for me to get better at a random foreign language because it's easy to learn how to say hello and how to pronounce word. Like, that's not too hard. It's easier to do that than it is for me to make visible progress in my Latin because it's already pretty good. I mean, I, I teach it. It's got to be pretty good. And so I get, in a sense, I get more satisfaction out of, or I get more immediate satisfaction out of learning the basics of another language than I do by reading hours of very difficult Latin. <laughs> and it, it's, you know, it's drudgery. Work is drudgery. It's, it's okay that work is drudgery um, sometimes. And so it, it's, it's easy, it's good to start at those areas of most growth. And then they started a demonstration before they start their discussion. And by doing this, what they've done is they've identified the goal before they start identifying steps towards it. They're starting with, what do I want to end up at? And then I'll take steps towards it. Because if you don't know where you're going, you'll, you're likely to shift directions a lot, and then a lot of progress is lost. Um, G.K. Chesterton puts it well, if you set out to paint the whole world blue, even if you just make a little bit of progress every day, you will make progress. You will actually attain your goal to some degree. If you keep changing what color you want to paint the world every day, you will make no progress because you'll always be having to go back and repaint what you've already done. And so if you identify a solid goal, that's your base, in a sense. That's your trajectory. Now you just have to figure out how to get the arrow to fly that direction. So, starting at the basics, we tend to make little progress from where we are outwards. This is demonstrated by them beginning with their friends and not experts. We, tend to, we need to identify areas of most obvious need before we go to areas of less obvious need, symbolized by educating children. And we need to know where we're headed <laughs> so that as we're going there, we're not, you know, constantly changing our trajectory. We have a solid goal. We can actually make progress. And that's demonstrated by them beginning with this military demonstration and then moving into a discussion of theory. So there's our episode of <clears throat> first episode of the lackeys. And, um, yeah, that's all I got for this. Starting at the basics and moving on from there. Thank you so much for joining me in this series on Plato. If you'd like to see the next video in this series, go ahead and click right up there. If you missed it and want to see the previous video in this series, click over there. And if you like this content and want to see more, consider subscribing.